Allegedly, this is the one big thing that Portia failed to do that may have caused her her peach to return to Real Housewives of Atlanta. What is it? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more right after this. What's up, Kim Folk? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, do me a favor and subscribe. And if you already are subscribed, do me a favor and get notified. So you'll know whenever I upload new videos to the channel. All right, Kim Folk, come on into the house. We have a lot to talk about. And it centers around rumors that allegedly this is the one big thing that Portia failed to do that could have secured her peach for next season on Real Housewives of Atlanta. What is it? Well, I have some new information that may answer that question and more. And here it goes. With news that allegedly Kim Zosiak has taken Portia's peach for next season, many fans and Real Housewives of Atlanta experts are trying to figure out what went wrong for Mrs. Gubadia? A source said, Portia made many mistakes early on with her brand when going public with her relationship with Simon. Her blind ambition took a huge toll on her image. For almost an entire year, Portia was fighting to stay above water in the housewife universe. The source continued, Once Fallon took control over the narrative, it was all over for Portia. Coupled with Simon's inability to stick to their planned messaging, Portia was left running for the hills and away from the franchise that made her a household name, ended the source. Allegedly, many producers and Bravo execs tried steering Portia in the right direction in regards to her future with the show and network, even giving her a spinoff to help her rehabilitate her image and set the, and set the record straight and regain some type of control over the narrative. However, it didn't work. Why? Because of this one big mistake. An industry insider said, Portia's failure to address the elephant in the room regarding the messiness of her and Simon's relationship was the beginning of her Bravo downfall. The source continued, Portia at one point allegedly felt that everyone was against her and was trying to manipulate her relationship with Simon. So she always found herself on the defense. This stopped her from doing what most iconic housewives in any messy situations have done in the past. And that's capitalizing on their personal drama. Portia really dropped the ball and in many ways played herself into the source. A Real Housewives of Atlanta expert elaborated. What Portia should have done was this. First, she should have negotiated a higher salary to return to Real Housewives of Atlanta to talk about her relationship drama for season 14. Secondly, she should have then insisted on producers bringing Fallon back for season 14 as well. And third, once together, Portia could have spent the entire season, season picking apart Fallon's narrative and defending herself, leaving the fans to decide who was right and who was wrong. Because in hindsight, it looks like Fallon's hands weren't entirely clean in the divorce. Lastly, after the season wrapped, Portia should have then negotiated a six-episode wedding special that could have then led to a permanent spinoff series. But she was underplaying herself and her hand, ended the source. Fear of not being in control, it really stopped her from collecting many of her Bravo future bags. Something many feel that didn't bother her too much since she had her eyes set on marrying a bigger bag in Simon. Now, Portia is left looking from the sidelines as Kim allegedly comes in the picture ready to capitalize on her own messy divorce to secure a new and bigger Bravo bag. 
Now, Ken folk, um, this is some information that is piggybacking off of the rumor that I received on yesterday how Kim is allegedly uh, stopping uh, Portia from returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, which is kind of all still very unfortunate. But Ken folk, the first big mistake that I want to uh, dissect about this rumor um, is this. Portia, um, biggest mistake was not keeping a lot of allies on her team, um, on the current cast of ladies, um, when it came to the drama with Fallon. Because if she had some allies or maintained some type of relationship with some of the ladies during that messy period, then they could have really come to the bat for her and they really could have helped save her and save her image and save face on the entire situation. Um, one way they could have gone about doing this, um, the ladies could have, you know, shared some behind the scenes information that they probably did have in regards to Fallon and Simon's marriage and some of the issues they were having. Um, it was very noticeable. I think there was a season 13 reunion that some of the ladies pretty much knew that um, Fallon was going to be uh, no longer uh, being with uh, Simon at that point. And there was some chatter behind the scenes, which I think a lot of ladies kind of kept quiet because um, it was so, um, um, I guess, scandalous to talk about. And they probably didn't know where production was going to go with it. All the things of which are very uh, understandable. But I do think that if Portia would have probably opened up to at least two ladies on the cast who she felt most connected to outside of Shamir, then they really could have probably helped her steer the messaging and probably could have helped muddy the waters a little bit to where fans really can understand or see who was right, who was wrong. And then it would, let, it would allow Portia to be able to explain herself a little bit more better than what she was able to. Now, Kim Folk, the next part of this rumor um, I find very interesting. It has to do with Portia and something that is a very big, much of a double-edged sword for her. And it's this. You know, for Portia, my sources are saying that image is important and sometimes um, you have to fight to protect it. Something that Portia, um, you know, is not um, oblivious to. Um, but I do think that if you look at what my sources have been telling me, another big issue was Portia going silent. You know, on her image, you know, her protecting her image uh, by going silent, I guess you can say was something that was smart in kind of hindsight. But during the thick of things, just going silent on all of that drama and allowing Fallon to get control of the narrative and really set the pace for everything was a big mistake. She really should have been fighting for herself, if not for herself, at least for her honor and her respect in the Bravo universe. Because the Bravo fans have seen messy situations from their housewives in the past. And we are not immune to messy divorces, messy breakups, messy hookups. So with that being said, I think... Uh, Portia getting out and fighting for her reputation and saying, hey, this is what happened. This is what's going on. And it's not as bad or it may not be all with you or what it appears to be. Probably would have helped her in the beginning and probably in the long run. But her going silent and allowing herself to really become just a target for everyone and everyone's, you know, opinions. I think really hurt her brand more than anything because this whole picture was, was able to be painted of her. That in hindsight may not be necessarily, you know, all true. I mean, I think there are certain aspects of how her and Simon got together and what they allegedly was doing before they became public with their relationship. But as we continue to gather more information, it seems like that Portia probably had one or two good arguments for her and Simon's relationship that she could have pulled out of her bag. Now, Kim, folk, um, the next thing um, I think is a big mistake that Portia could make moving forward um, is this. I think that uh, Portia avoiding uh, the fight uh, to get her reach back would be a big mistake. I do think she needs to come out uh, just ready to fight for it. Because as you see, Kim has her back against the wall. And she is trying to get back in that saddle of Real Housewives of Atlanta, get those checks, and get those endorsements deals. And I think a part of Portia really does want to come back to the franchise. You know, she spoke about it, and you know she's refreshed. And I think her allowing Kim just to come in and move her out of the way is not the best decision to make. I think she has to get in there, plead her case, not only to the ladies, but also to producers and to some executives in saying that, hey... I, too, am a pillar of this Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. You know, a lot of what her and Kenya did, I think that was season five, is really what helped solidify Real Housewives of Atlanta as the top-tier franchise in Bravo. 
So, with that being said, I do think that she has a lot of leverage moving leverage moving forward. Even though Kim's, you know, privilege may, you know, seem like it can come out on top in some instances, I still do believe that Portia is much more of a grounded fixture in the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. And also in the Real Housewives universe to where her arguments can be just as valid and in some ways surpass Kim's perceived privilege. Now, Kim, folks, the last thing um, I would say it would be a big help to Portia to help her overcome Kim's um, alleged uh, upper hand in her returning next season is this. I, th I think that Portia definitely has to come to the table with a new storyline and a new narrative ready to go. I think it's been about, what, two years, two years, three years, if you count filming, that um, Portia's had the opportunity to sit back and, you know, take account of the lay of the land on which direction the franchise is going into and how she can insert herself into that direction. I do believe that she does have some, you know, very... Um, um, interesting storylines outside of you know the whole Fallon and Simon situation you know becoming a mother to um I think three boys to Simon's children um you know blending her family I think that's a very uh interesting storyline and as well as her being a housewife but still trying to maintain some independence with her businesses and seeing how all that works together so with that being said, I do think that she has to come to the table with a viable storyline and narrative, one that's uh, genuine, organic, and I think that once she has that set, she can add her own spice to it and put that Porsche dazzle onto it to where fans will be willing to open her, open their arms and welcome her back into the fold. I can tell you this, Kim, folk, if you look at all the social media posts about Kim returning, it is a lot of unhappy fans in those comments from all walks of life. And when the question is posed, who would you prefer to come back to the franchise, Kim or Portia? Portia outweighs Kim and beats Kim almost 3 to 1 every single time. Now, Kim, folk, I want to know what you guys think. If you, you know, believe this rumor, because right now it's all speculation and alleged information that Portia made a big mistake by not capitalizing on her uh, personal drama, then do you think that she has a opportunity and should get a second, a second chance to do just that and to solidify herself as a iconic housewife? Or do you think that moment has passed and they should give Kim a shot to come in and capitalize on her personal drama? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, Kim folk, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys over in the next one. Peace.